Hi smart people, my name is Karol and this is Ads Courses, a channel where I share with you the best digital marketing secrets and web analytics tricks. This is the first video of my Google BigQuery for Marketers series. Analyzing data in Excel or spreadsheets, it's quite easy and powerful, but sometimes your data is just too big for these tools. Then SQL comes in hand. And in this video series, I will teach you how to use Google BigQuery to analyze your data or big data. And to do this, you will learn SQL. Today, I will show you how to create a Google Cloud Platform account, get a one year free trial, and how to import your data to BigQuery. If you find my videos helpful and interesting, consider to hit the subscribe button now. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so this is the introduction video to Google BigQuery. And today I will show you how to create your first project in BigQuery, how to get access to a 12 month free trial. And I will talk about the free trial a little bit. And then I will show you how to get access to free data sets available in Google BigQuery. And I will show you the basics of BigQuery interface and how you can pull out your data. In next videos, I will talk about the basics of SQL. You will learn the basics of this programming language so that you will be able to create you know, advanced queries and pull out the data that you want. And I will show you how to visualize the data in Google Data Studio. So today it's more like an introduction video. Okay, so let's dive in. First thing you want to do is to go to the console.cloud.google.com or you can just search it in Google. Okay. And you need to have a active Google account for this. So you need to be logged in as I am in here. And this is how the Google Cloud Platform interface looks like. So here we have all the features and there are a lot of them in here, right? But today we are interested in Google BigQuery. But first of all, you want to access the 12 months free trial of the platform. So within this trial, you will get a 300 credit, free credit to use in Google Cloud Platform in general to all the services. And the trial will last for 12 months, right? So it's $300 and you can use it for 12 months. And when you go to the Google Cloud Platform, you should see this bar at the upper part of the website about the free trial. So activate now to get 300 credit to explore Google Cloud products. And you can learn more by clicking this link in here. So let's do this now. And here you can learn more about the free trial. So it's always free products. You've got the $300 free credit to use within the 12 months, right? And here you have all the free products with limitations, which you can find in here. We will use the BigQuery. So here you can find informations about BigQuery. You've got your one terabyte of queries per month. And I will talk about the data usage with BigQuery later in this video so that you will know how it all works. And 10 gigabytes of storage is also included in this trial. And if you want to learn more about the pricing later after the trial, the free trial expires, you can do this in the Google Cloud documentations in here. Just type you know, BigQuery pricing and you will get into this site. And if you scroll down, here you can find the information about the BigQuery and how the queries costs look like and work. So you simply select your region. So for example, it's European Union and the pricing is $5 per one terabyte of data used in queries, you know, on demand. And later in this video, I will talk about how this data works. So you can review this documentations if you like. But as I said, you won't get charged anything within the 12 months trial if you want to use more than 300 gigabytes of data. Okay, so we're back in Google Cloud Platform right now and let's activate the free trial. So let's click here, activate. And what you want to do is select your country, agree to the terms of service and click continue. Okay, so to activate your free trial, you would need to fill this uh, form in and you actually need to add a credit card, a payment method, but you won't get charged anything. It's just a verification method. Or if you actually use more than this $300 credit uh, within the you know, 12 months, you will be charged, but it's actually very difficult to use more than 300 credits. So you would need to fill in this form in here and add a payment method and simply click here, start my free trial and it will be active. And after you actually activate your free trial, you will see this dashboard. And now we want to get into the BigQuery section. And there are several ways to actually do that. You can expand this menu over here and you could search for Google BigQuery in here. 
for me it's actually okay it's in here right big query and what you want to do is pin it so simply click in here and after you do this it will be available for you in here in the upper section under the home section it will always be in here for you and you can also search for it in here right big query and you can go in there from here and first what you want to do is create a project so simply go in here you may not have this available because i have a project created on this account so simply click in here and create a new project okay so it's a simple step just name your project or select if it's an organization or not and you can create this project i will skip this step okay so let's go to the bigquery right now Okay, so this is the interface of the BigQuery. This is actually the new version of uh, the interface. Right now, I think it's the only version available, but a couple of months ago, there was the old version available. We will use the new version in this tutorial. And here you have this menu, and here you have the data sets. You may actually not have anything in here. And this is the query editor, and this is the results tab. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is access the free BigQuery datasets that are available for everyone completely for free. And this is actually the real data. And there's there are a lot of them available. And in this new interface, it's actually more difficult to do this, to access all the datasets, which I have in here, right? There are a lot of datasets and there are a lot of tables in here. And this is actually all real data. And in new interface, you can click in here and you can explore public data sets and you can select what you're actually interested in right but there is another way to actually access all of them and pin them in here always for you and simply do it like this you don't have to do what i do right now just give me a second okay so now you'd want to pause the video and copy this or rewrite this into your query editor right and just you know all of this until here you don't have to write this limit option and hit run and after that it should be available for you in here in this section and you can pin it also okay so this is actually a hack to get access to all the available free data in google bigquery and you know in bulk okay so now i will show you the interface and how you actually work with BigQuery and I will do this on the sample data available in here so let's just search for it Google okay so you've got here the demo Google Analytics sessions table data set uh, which you can also use and here we have Google political ads data and this is actually interesting because this is real data real numbers in here real information so this is a great way to learn so let's just select this Google political ads data set and advertiser stats table Okay, so let's click in here. Okay, so let's expand this window here. And here we have more details about this table, about this data set. So you can find the schema. So these are all the columns available in this table. So we've got advertiser ID, advertiser name, spend, and the elections, etc. Right? So you can actually see this. And we can see that this field is a string, and you can find a description of this column in here, like this total creatives it's an integer and you can find description of this in here so you always want to actually review the table the data before you work with this so that you will know what kind of data it has now you can go to the details and you have the description of this table and you have table information uh, like table size right this table is actually very very small it's only 241 kilobytes in size so this is a small table but if we actually query this Google Analytics sessions and we're in details we can see this table is 15 megabytes in size okay so let's go to the advertiser stats just to show you okay and here you have the preview option you can preview the data for free you know you don't you're not using the data limit doing this so you can see the actual columns how it looks like real life you've got our advertiser name right we've got the regions elections we've got total creatives we've got our spend this is how this table looks like okay and now i will show you the, the basic of you know creating a query don't worry if you don't understand what it actually means if you don't understand sql it doesn't matter in next video i will actually teach you the basics of sql 
how to create a query and in my other videos you will mo learn more advanced sql but right now i just want to show you how it all works okay let's say you want to query this this table advertiser stats and you could do this by writing you know by hand select from this big query public data which is this data set you know we've got the google political ads data set which is in here and within this we've got our advertiser stats which is in here and you could write this by hand but google bigquery has this query table function in here which will help you to simply start your query so simply just you will have this like this simply select the table and just click here query table and it will write it for you okay and here you have this run button uh, you can also use control enter or command enter on mac and it will actually run the query for you you can save the query in here and it will be available in saved queries here you have the query history section where you can actually review your historical queries and if you schedule your query and here you have more options and of course you don't want to write this code within one line all the time so you can format this automatically you can go here and select format or you can go with Control shift f or command shift f on mac right and it will automatically format this query for you so it's more visible and clear to the eye and don't worry again about the sql if you don't know this language i will teach you that in the next video right now i just want to show you how it works so let's select the whole table right the table is 241 kilobytes in size and what i want to show you right now is how this using the data works because after the 12 months trial you will be charged every time you use the data and it depends on how much data do you actually use within your queries and remember that it's right now it's five dollars per one terabyte of data so let's say we want to query an entire table this table so we will go with this query it doesn't matter you don't have to understand this let's select the limit so here we will just you know query a whole table which will be 241 kilobytes in size and here you have this cool feature that will tell you before you actually run this query how much data it will process so it's like 241 kilobytes because this is an entire table okay so if we would hit run so let's do this we will use 241 kilobytes because we actually you know create the whole table all of the data is available okay you can save these results i will show you this in my next video but why i show you actually this is because you don't want to query a whole table you would want to actually extract the data that you're actually interested in and the more advanced your query is the less data you will use right so now i will show you a more advanced query and we will see how much data it will run Okay, so let's delete this and i have this query in my notepad so i will just copy it in here and what we want to do right now is only select advertiser name so this column and spend in polish zwoty i'm from poland and you have this column in here spend in pln and from this data set right and where our regions equals european union or pl this is a string so we have to you know write it down like this i will teach you that in my next video and we want to order by spend in decreasing right so with this query we will only process 53 kilobytes of data we will only process the data that we actually want to extract you're not using the data from all the table all the time you're only charged after the trial you only charge for the data that you actually extract so in this case it's 53 kilobytes so let's run this query and here we have our results we've got advertiser name and spend in polish zwoty and it's sorted by decreasing and this is actually very cool because this is real data real life data so you're learning but it's also interesting right this is not fake information in here and you really have a lot of public data sets in this google bigquery public data so you can play around with this and in my next video i will show you how to create more advanced queries how sql language works you will learn the basics of it and later i will show you how to explore this data with google data studio how to visualize it that's it for today in the next video you will learn the basic queries and functions to analyze your data with bigquery if you have any questions or want to share your ideas you can do this in the comment section below uh, if you don't want to miss any other of my videos simply subscribe to this channel that's all for today bye